Today, our guest is data scientist Henrik Feddersen. He is leader of the HRIS at the European Medicines Agency in London. That organization is equivalent to FDA in USA. Six years ago, he led the full SAP HCM uh, project from conception to completion and was the main change manager. His current tasks are to introduce further process improvements, problem solving, data cleaning, reporting, uh, preparing predictions, and training of colleagues. For more than three years, he has been connecting internationally with like-minded HR professionals interested in HR analytics, attending conferences, studying data sciences, and collecting and writing articles on HR analytics. His special interests are text analytics, social network analysis, and open source software like R. This is Rajiv. Uh, Henrik, welcome to our podcast. Yeah, thanks a lot for inviting me. Uh, my pleasure. And I know you've been around the industry for a while. Uh, any thoughts uh, you have uh, in this uh, uh, gradual progression of data science practice in the industry? Data science is moving very fast, but uh, in, um, in other fields, in, um, in, uh, in our domain, which is the human resources domain, uh, things are lagging a bit behind. It's, uh, it takes a bit more time in, uh, to get uh, the H analytics moving. Um, the, the all HR, profes- HR professionals are highly interested in what is uh, coming, but uh, things are not um, um, moving as quickly as um, initially thought. We, we have been observing um, quick uh, progression on other, in other domains, uh, um, the, the HR domain is lagging behind due to various problems in this area. So, but uh, hopes are there are big hopes that uh, things are going to move ahead and very fast. And uh, everybody is seeing this as a big opportunity to Im- to improve uh, um, the profession. Which uh, programming language do you use, like uh, between R and Python, and what do you think? Uh, um, are some good uh, like uh, strengths and features in those languages? Oh, R is um, R is fantastic because it it has uh, lots of packages and uh, and um, there's a huge community of uh, of uh, users who are sharing between each other and uh, sharing the, the the experience. Uh, one can learn a lot of things uh, with R and there are also there are also um, very good packages on uh, text analytics um, in R. In uh, in Python in Python it's um, there there is also a big a very important package the so-called N um, uh, natural language uh, uh, kit mm-hmm. NLTK which is um, ideal for uh, text analytics. So. So I've started learning in I've started R two years ago, so I'm still I'm still a learner in R, and um, Python I'm I'm uh, I have less experience in Python, but I'm uh, I'm trying it as well. It's um, you ca- you cannot it's very difficult learn, to learn both both at the same time, and uh, so I've, I'm more an R kind of person. So. I understand. I've heard it's, mm-hmm. um, it's very reassuring for me that uh, I've heard that um, also v- very important companies like um, Success Factor, um, SAP, are using R in their um, analytics. So I'm, uh, I'm I'm very comfortable that uh, I'm doing something that is going to be very useful in the future. How would you explain the uh, term text analytics to a layman? Like, uh, like, what kind of insights can you get out of it? So, for example, I I face the problem of um, of receiving many uh, many many application forms for uh, for the same uh, position, and uh, I I have to rank those uh, application forms uh, in um, in uh, in objective according to objective criteria. So the more um, similar the, the application forms are to the requirements, the, the more likely the candidate will be selected for interview or for a written test. So I, I would like to develop a system that allows me to rank the candidates uh, automatically. Um, 
another area is um, is um, the sentiment analysis. So uh, when, uh, for example, when uh, the um, staff members fill out staff engagement questionnaires, it's very interesting to to allow those question uh, free text in those questionnaires because uh, um, um, employees they don't like to f tick boxes. Yeah, so. Um, it's it's much better that um, ca that uh, employees um, fill out the free text, and uh, so once you have a lot of free text to analyze, the, the first thing thing one can do is uh, and do a sentiment analysis on on those texts. So it's it's another area which uh, one can develop the sentiment analysis of uh, staff engagement uh, results, or uh, you can also have a uh, um, for example, grievances or um, uh, complaints or uh, analysis of complaints. So, so to understand quickly what for a big company, what are the the, um, the employees or the customers complaining about? That's uh, where the text ana ana analysis is um, jumping in. Okay, now my next question is about uh, what are some, some of your favorite data science or professional conferences where you go to uh, learn more? Oh, they are, um, oh, I'm very lucky here in London, yeah? So mm -hmm. in, you have to imagine in London, we have a, we've had a, um, in mid-April, we have had the Tucana conference. Mm -hmm. So Tucana conference was a, is, a, is a very good conference, it, um, which um, has uh, the best... Uh, the, up, the um, has established itself as the as uh, the people analytics uh, one the best conference in uh, in Europe on uh, in people analytics. The, um, there's another conference in June. It's going to be in June on H analytics, and um, uh, I've been invited in uh, to end of um, November, beginning of December, to another conference mm. on. Uh, on um, technology in recruitment. So, I'm, um, the, so I'm just to say that in London, there's lots of conferences going on. Mm -hmm. Another advantage of being in London is that there are lots of meetups. Mm -hmm. um, a meetup is, um, is a place where uh, uh, people with uh, the data scientists, they, 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 they go a lot to, to meetups. You have to imagine that um, in London, I could go to a meetup um, two, 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 three times per, per week because there's so much going on. There are so many uh, meetups on data science, and uh, the data scientists, they, it's a constant learning of new things. So it's, um, you, you need to constantly uh, keep yourself trained and, uh, and see what other, others are doing. Of course, everybody is um, trying to learn from each other because data science can be used, can be applied in lots of different areas. So HR is only one of the many domains where you can apply data science. Um, there are meetups on R, there are meetups on Python, mm -hmm. uh, meetups on machine learning. It's very interesting. And, That's uh, I'm uh, I'm sure you have a lot of this also in uh, Minneapolis. That's right. Like there are like some like very focused groups, say R language group, Python oh, yeah. programming session groups, and uh, at the same time there are like uh, blended groups such as uh, big data analytics. And five ten years ago, I mean there would be hardly one or two groups like that. Like uh, maybe SQL Server Easy Group or .NET Technology Group, but now they yeah. have mushroom to so many different groups and it's kind of really cool because every day of the week you can pretty much attend many many different technology conferences and learn great yeah. about them in fact in tech.mn they literally list all the groups that are making all the great things in technology space happen in fact yeah. um, next to like a silicon valley in uh, silicon valley the next um, minneapolis happens to be the third next major uh, technology hub and after Silicon Valley comes Texas, and then Georgia or Atlanta, I believe. I, I really enjoyed uh, uh, our conversation. And can you tell us quickly, like, uh, where uh, our listeners can connect with you in social media? Oh yes, of course. I'll uh, be at uh, Hen 
H-E-R-S-E-N on Twitter, or you, we can connect also on, um, on LinkedIn, Hendrik Federsen. And um, I also have a very successful scoop.it uh, page, which is uh, visited a lot. Um, on this page, I, 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 I scoop, uh, or I basically it's a curating uh, a website where I curate uh, lots of articles I see on HR analytics area, and um, so. It's um it got it's a collection of articles in this field, so it's um it's very visited, yeah. Oh, that's awesome.